Howdy Tinker Nerds! We're making a 3D printer out of CD-ROM drives and we're so close I can taste it! And it tastes like corn. You can watch this playlist to get caught up on what we've done thus far. We left off on getting the drives assembled and getting them connected to a CNC shield. Before we continue, there's a few important things that I should mention about this CNC shield. Okay, so first off, this CNC shield is meant to be used specifically with Arduino Uno and specifically for CNC purposes. It has controls for an X, Y, and Z axis and then an A axis, which can be set to mirror the X, Y, or Z axis movements. This is handy in case you want to add like an extra stepper motor to an axis. What this means though is that you can't control an extruder motor with it because there's no individual controls to connect it to. And there's no good way to connect thermistors either. So what I'm trying to say here is you can't really use this shield to create a fully fledged 3D printer. So if you wanted to go that route, you're gonna need a beefier Arduino, like an Arduino Mega or an Arduino Do, as well as a new shield, specifically for 3D printing. The most popular and well-supported shield is called Rant, and it'll set you back about $80, but it fits on top of an Arduino Mega. So if you want to make a legit 3D printer and you have the funds, then that's the route you'll have to go. For this project, however, we're going to be using a 3D printing pen, so we don't need the extra controls for an extruder motor or thermistors. So this El Cheapo setup with an Arduino Uno and a cheap CNC shield will work just fine. But there's one huge caveat that I found out while trying to make this thing functional. It's only intended to work with gerbil versions older than 0.9 and in the last episode we installed gerbil version 0.9 so let's fix that right quick the best gerbil version to use with this CNC shield is version 0.8 C which you can download from the gerbil github page it downloads as a hex file and then what we want to do is flash it to the Arduino so we'll need a program called Xloader to do that with our Arduino plugged in, open up Xloader, select the gerbil file, select Uno, and then choose the baud rate of 115200, which was set by our previous gerbil version. Then click Upload. When it's done, the Arduino should now have gerbil version 0.8C, so the CNC shield shouldn't have any problems. Now that that caveat's out of the way, let's see if we can get this contraption working. All right, so first off, we have to plug in each of the stepper motor drivers, the A4988, and make sure the potentiometer is facing the same direction as the power adapter. For the CNC machine, we've got that Y-axis and X-axis, and since I wanted the Z-axis to be interchangeable, be it a laser, a 3D pen, or a Dremel that I'm mounting for it, I knew that I had to make a custom designed tray. So I modeled this drive tray, which I've uploaded to Thingiverse, as well as this 3D pen holder to mount on the Z-axis. All the axes plug into the four pins beside each one of the corresponding A4988 stepper motor drivers. To power the board, you need a 12 volt power supply and it connects to these two screw terminals. What I did was I found this female connector for a 12 volt power cable and I just used some alligator clips and jumper wires to connect it to the screw terminals. Later I may just see if I can solder the female connector directly to the board. Okay, so with all the drives connected to the board and the board powered up, let's plug in the Arduino and see if we can make it work. At the end of the last video, I mentioned a couple different pieces of software, gerbil controller and universal G-code sender. Personally, I've had a lot more luck with gerbil controllers, so that's the one I'm gonna be going with. All you have to do is plug your Arduino in, then just click to connect it. Once connected, you can use the X, Y, and Z buttons to test your motor movement and see if everything's working smoothly. So now we just need to make something with it. But before we jump into 3D printing, let's do a test run first. I'm gonna start out by just using a pen and see if I can draw a simple shape. So let's create a shape. But first we need a program that can create shapes and then translate them to G-code so that our Arduino can understand it. The Inventables Easel program is a simple online program that can do just that. And after creating a free account, you should see an interface like this. And the first thing to do is switch from inches to millimeters to keep our measurements consistent between programs. Then under machine menu, change the work area to about 20 millimeters, which is just under an inch. Next, you can choose a shape from the menu and set the measurements in this box. I'm using a depth of 0.5 millimeters, an offset of 5 millimeters, and a height and width of 10 millimeters. So let's just start with that. 
So now let's convert it to a G-code file. Go to Machine, Advanced, Generate G-code, Export G-code. Then you can open the saved file with any text editor like Notepad. And behold the glory of G-code. These first two commands tell which units and coordinates to start with. Now we have the movements. All right, so G1 and G0 are movement commands, with G0 being rapid movements, which on this small machine, I prefer all the movements to be slow and calculated. So I'm gonna change all the G0s to G1s. Then we have the axis movements, how far it should move, and then how fast it should move. Since, again, I want the movements to be slow and calculated, I'm gonna change all the speeds to 50 for each axis movement. The z-axis movements are gonna be kinda of tricky, so let's figure them out. Start by moving the pen all the way down until it touches the y-axis. Now in the software, use the z buttons to move the axis up about two millimeters. While you're at it, move the X and Y axis all the way to their starting points. Then click the zero position button to reset the axis coordinates to zero. Then to solidify the coordinates, you can close and reopen the Arduino connection so that all the coordinates show as zero. Now back in the G code, we can get rid of the initial Z command, and for the second Z command, we can set it to move two millimeters down. Then it will draw the star, and at the end of the code, change the final Z command to go back up to the zero position. All right, now save it. Load it up in gerbil controller by clicking choose file and then click begin to send it to the machine and see if it works. We have a star. Test run successful. Obviously there's a few tweaks I can make, but this was definitely a very good test run. Now we can finally move on to 3D printing, but I'll save that for the next video. Got any ideas? You can submit your own or vote for your favorites at tinkernut.com ideas. Click here to watch more videos like this, and if you got any value out of my show and would like to give some value back, please consider liking, subscribing, or following me on social media. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.